Here we have a frozen caliper. We gotta diagnose it, figure out what's going on. Nothing moves. Even if you, actually that's a little too big. It's really tight, so can't get the wheel to turn while this is all together. Um, so if we take a screwdriver and go in between the fins and the caliper, try to pry this out a little bit. We can see if the caliper slides are frozen. You know, compress the piston. There's the piston right there. So it seems like the piston compresses, which is good. But then the caliper should move on the slides and it's not. So it looks like the slides are frozen in the bracket itself. So it's not so much the caliper's frozen, it's more the bracket and the pins. And you can see right here, there's a boot that's torn. So you're gonna get um, the elements in there, get dust and dirt and moisture, and that's gonna seize that up. So let's try to take this apart. Slide the caliper off. And you can look around the caliper boot itself. There's a little bit of rust in there. It's probably from the old brake pads. But this boot looks pretty good. This is just a dust boot. I don't see anything in there. I use a caliper hanger. Make sure there's no tension on the brake hose. And this one moves. So that's what that's supposed to do. But this one doesn't move at all. So I'll take the brake pads off. Take the caliper off. I mean, take the bracket off. We already got the caliper off. So when you're going down the road and you have something like this, you're going to notice that you have a lot of brake smell. It can, it's going to smell like something's burning. You may even see some smoke pouring out at that wheel and stuff because it's just going to keep those brake pads sitting on the rotor permanently. So let's fix this up. Let's see if we can get this boot off. Just take a pick. It's ripped anyway, so you can just rip it more or just see if it slides off. like that. Now what you could do is take some rust penetrant and just soak it. If you have the ability to soak it for a couple days, that would be ideal. Just soak it every night before you go to bed. But obviously most of the time you have to fix it that day. So let's put it in a vise like this. See if you can move it at all. moving the whole table. All right, so that's not working. Huh. Yeah, that's not gonna work. So let's heat this up a little bit, see if we can get it to loosen up. All right, it's 
nice and hot. So that's a good sign. Just go back and forth a little bit. Try to put some upward pressure on it. And just wiggle it out. So heating it up expands the metal. And actually, you can see how it's expanded right there. So I think we're going to end up getting a new caliper anyway. You could just replace the bracket if you wanted to. There we go. All right. So we'll let that cool down. But that's how you get them broken free. Most of the time you can do that with heating it up, but sometimes you're not so lucky. So let's let that cool for a little bit. While I'm letting that cool, I am going to take the caliper off because we're going to get a new caliper with a new bracket. But uh, let's see, is that the right size? Take the hose off right there. And make sure the uh, reservoir for the brake master cylinder is full. And do a little trick. I'm going to take an old rubber glove and just slide it over here. And just take a wire tie. Just because this caliper is going to be off for a little while. You don't want to do this for days, but if you're doing it for an hour or two, that's fine. So that's going to collect any of the brake fluid. You really don't want to pinch off these brake hoses. You can cause damage to the hose and you can't even see it. Um, you'll cause internal damage. So if you were pinching these off, it's a good idea to replace the hose as well. So, but this will prevent, it'll at least slow the fluid down and we'll make sure the fluid reservoir is full. All right, so add some brake fluid. Um, on the side of the container, the reservoir, it says only use dot three brake fluid. So double check that. Most, most brakes are um, dot three. Most vehicles have dot three or dot four and use an unopened um, container brake fluid because there could be moisture if it's an old container. So, and that's good. It's all the way filled. I'll just put the cap on for now. See if it's still hot. Yep, it's hot. The pin is cooled down now. Now we could replace the pin. They do make replacement pins for not too much money, but if you wanted to reuse it, you can take it over to a wire brush and just clean it up. Now this is cooled down. What you want to do is take some type of wire brush clean this out. Get some brake parts cleaner. Clean it out some more. And if this corrosion on the outside, just clean that up with a wire brush. Now you're going to need a boot kit because you're going to need a new boot. Here we have our pin. You can just check the pin, see if it slides in there nice. And it still doesn't really slide in there that nice. A little better, but it's still binding up. So you want this to go in there pretty smooth. 
It should go in there. Oh, that's not too smooth either. Oh, maybe the pin still needs some trimming. Could be a problem with the pin. Yeah, because that goes in pretty smooth. So we could bring this over to the wire brush and just trim a little more off. That's probably what's going on. There's still some rust on there. Let me do that. I clean that up real good. Let's see if it fits better. It still doesn't fit great, but yeah, that does fit a lot better. Yep. So as long as that slides good, that would be all set. Let's get some grease. Whoa. So you want to grease up the pin real good. And again, you want to get a new boot for this. You don't want to do this and just leave the boot off. There we go, that's looking good. So that would work. Put some grease on that pin also. Now with some new boots, it's all cleaned up. The caliper slides, I mean the, with the pad clips go has already been cleaned up. So we could reinstall this in the car, but because of that little bump right there, it's swole a little bit. We're gonna get a new caliper and bracket, so. But you could reuse this if you had to. Got the new bracket, and this one, the slide pins are nice and uh, loose, so that's good, so those are sliding. I already put the pad clips on, slide this in place the bolts in. All right. Grab the brake pads. Those are nice and clean still. Oh, this is a little loose. You just tighten these up a little little tabs on the back. All right, that's good. I got the caliper here. You want to make sure that you have a bleeder screw that it's at the top. You know, so if you had a bleeder screw and it was on the bottom, then you get the wrong side. You put the other side on. You want to torque these as well. more tools. I like to loosen up the bleeder screw before we put the line on the hose and just double check the brake reservoir. I did have to top it off a little bit because we left this off for a couple hours but you can see it <laughs> looks like a water balloon but that's definitely slowing it down a little bit um, otherwise this would be all over the floor. So, And I had to put another um, wire tie to slow that down because it started leaking into here. This is all full on the glove. So you don't want to leave it overnight like this, but if you just do it for a couple hours, it'll be fine. And the other option is just letting it drain out, but it's never good to let a, a brake system drain out because um, you get into the ABS um, situation and then you have to bleed the ABS completely. Normally you need a scan tool to do that. Just makes it easier if you do it this way. So take this off. So 
So get a little fluid leaking out. All right, so make sure the seals are off. That's good. So we got a new banjo bolt. Take one seal, goes on one side, and the other seal goes on the other side. And you could clean this up with a wire brush a little bit. Yeah, there is a little bit of rust on there, but it shouldn't affect it. It's what we're doing. It's always a good idea to replace the brake hoses when you're doing this, but in the case that you don't have that option, you should be all right reusing it. But sometimes the brake hoses can cause um, the calipers to hang up. You think it's a bad caliper, but there's actually a blockage in the hose. And when you press down, the fluid goes into the caliper and then it holds the pressure. So don't get tricked by that. All right, get that started and make sure it's lining up right. Obviously a ratchet would be easier. But. It's okay. <laughs> Oops. My toolbox is in the other room, so there we go. We're good. It's 14. Yep. And you want to torque the brake hose as well. There we go. That's good. And now we want to bleed the brake system. You can gravity bleed it for a little while, just make sure the reservoir is full, let it drip out, and then close it up and have someone help you, have someone pump the brake pedal and do a normal bleeding procedure where someone holds the brake pedal, you open the bleeder, let the pedal go to the floor, then you close the bleeder and repeat. So I hope this video helped you out. We had a fun time, we got it free up. Now this card's gonna be good to go down the road. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you subscribe to our channel, ring the bell, turn on all notifications so you don't miss any of our videos.